Hey, in this video, I'm going to show how to add a shadow to a text using Inkscape version 1.0. So I'll come down here to my text tool and I'll type in my text. So I'm going to type happy, then enter birthday. Now you'll notice in my case, my two lines are overlapping. So I'm going to come up here to the line spacing and I'm going to increase that until I get the spacing that I want. And it's kind of small, and so I'm going to come down here to zoom, and I'm going to zoom around my happy birthday. All right, I want to select my happy birthday, and I want to come up with path. I want to do object to path. Now I'm going to want to right click and ungroup it. It's important you have to ungroup it first, then up to path, and I'm going to do a union. If you don't ungroup it and do the union, this process does not work. So make sure you ungroup it before you do the union. Now we're going to create our shadow for this text. So I'm going to come up to path, and I'm going to do linked offset. Now you'll notice there's a little triangle that came up to the top here, just right here. That is what we're going to use to create our shadow. Now I'm going to change the color of my shadow text to yellow. And then I'm going to click and drag this linked shadow to however big I'm going to want my shadow to be. Now that I've created my shadow, I'm going to move my text out of the way. And I'm going to zoom in so that I can see this really well. And I want to select now my shadow. And I want to change my stroke to black just so that I can see a little better so you can see all this stuff on the inside I'm going to want to get rid of. So I'm going to come up to path and I'm going to union. Then I'm going to click on it until I get into node view. And So now I'm in node view once you see the individual little things and I can click and drag on these inside elements and hit my delete key and get rid of these. And so just all these ones that I don't want, I'll just select them and delete. And let's see, there's a little one right here. And I'm going to click and drag this so that is just up. And then I'll take a look. There's something screwy going on right here. So I'll keep clicking this until I'm in node view again, and then I'll just try and get that pretty fine. Let me zoom in so that I can see, a, see better of what's going on here in this little area right here. And it looks like try deleting some of these nodes here. Let's see, I'll delete this one. There, that looks good. All right, and I'm going to zoom and we'll zoom out. Okay, so we've, now we've gotten rid of all the junk inside, so we can turn off our stroke line. So I will right click and unset the stroke. And then we can overlay our text, and that is how you create an offset or a, a shadow for your text. Okay, now I'm going to want to save this as an SVG file. And I also want to make a note in the file name what the font was that I used. In this case, I used the Corget font. So I'm going to come up to File, 
and I am going to save as. And it's very important that you change the Inkscape SVG to plain SVG. And then I'm going to just call it Happy Birthday with Shadow dash Core Gap font. And I'll also indicate that I prepared this using Inkscape 1.0 and then save it. And that's how you can prepare some text with a shadow using Inkscape version 1.0. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.